I think that the world has just realized that they are not these events that happen once in a hundred years, right? These are happening with far greater frequency than ever before. And kind of what we've been saying is this is the new normal. I'm Lindsay Bryson. I'm the chief operating officer of a company called Blue Dot. We're a digital health company that tracks the spread of infectious diseases globally and assesses their risk of spread and impact worldwide. What we've done at Blue Dot is we've built a global early warning system for infectious diseases. And there's three pillars to that. So the first one is global surveillance for infectious diseases. And we are mapping out over 200 diseases in near real time, 24 seven, processing over 100,000 articles a day in over 65 languages, just, just to understand what's happening. And that's using our AI enabled machine. Second is understanding what the impact of spread is going to be. So where are these diseases going to spread to and what is going to be their impact once they reach their destination? And then finally, we um, essentially communicate this via our software platform, alert our clients of this early warning in the locations of interest so that they can better inform policy decisions and be prepared for these outbreaks. During COVID, on December 31st, we picked up news in a Chinese local newspaper, translated it into English, that essentially warned of this pneumonia-like disease that we were seeing in a food market. We quickly realized there were some similarities to SARS and within minutes assessed global spread looking at air travel to understand where the dispersion might be globally if this was going to turn into something bigger than it was. So on that same day, we were able to alert our clients that you know, there is this risk of a SARS-like illness that could spread. And that was our first alert on December 31st. And then um, by January 14th, we had published this in the academic literature and correctly predicted uh, 10 out of 12 of the first cities that were going to see their first cases of what is now known as COVID. The focus that it's changed for us is that we now have to really think about and focus on domestic spread. So it's no longer about how it's going to transcend borders and spread globally. It's really about how the outbreak is manifesting in your own community. Hospital and healthcare systems and businesses are realizing that they can't be reactive to these outbreaks and that they're going to need to put systems in place and that these pandemics do affect everyone globally.